Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to a new Raid Shadow Legends video. Today is a new episode from our free to play challenge series. And I just wanted to have my morning coffee with you guys and show you the progress. There are some exciting stuff going on, so we'll see it together. First thing I want to do is, as you can see in here, I'm having issues with clan boss and I think I know why. Okay, now that won't be useful. But yeah, so I'll test it right now with you. I was doing around 4 million on hard, so I can 3 key it and 1 key of course normal and suddenly, and suddenly my damage dropped by like a million and a half. The only change I did gear wise and everything is that I changed Kale's chest plate from the starter attack percent to 1 with speed and maybe some crit rate on it or that's what I got at least it's always attack percent but the substats differ to an HP percent one. I lost some speed and maybe, and of course, some attack. I'm not sure if that's the reason that at this low level of the game, going faster and doing more damage will cause that difference. But we'll test that now. We have some silver saved, something I won't say much on this account. So we'll run our regular key. If we still got like 2.5 million or whatever instead of four, I'm going to, um, replace the chest plate and run the second key and we'll know for sure whether this is the difference and that would be your clue early game what you should go for should you go for doing a lot of damage quickly to the clan boss because you're not surviving long anyway or building survivability into the team of course higher levels like let's say brutal to ultra nightmare when you start doing speed tuning then you definitely need to build survivability you have even thresholds of HP and defense percent. If you're building on killable, you don't care. I'm talking about killable, regular team for clan boss. If you're building a life protect teams or buff extension teams, shield buff extension teams or whatever, then defense and HP percent is very important. Yes, uh, damage dealing stats, we're talking attack percent or defense percent if the champ is doing damage based on defense. Um, yeah, that will make a difference. Looks like, well, we'll see now. Things, uh, no surprises here, but one of the things I will do just after, oh no. So that's our low margin. You see here, 3 million on the dot. Let's replace the chest plate and then no surprises here in what I'll show you. What I'm planning to do is that I'm planning to six star miscreated monster just after the clan boss run because so you see if i put it in the fitting room we're going to do it anyway eight speed yes we're losing hp which is already low anyway we're gaining a bit of attack and definitely some more crit rate bringing us closer to that um 100 percent we're losing some accuracy we need accuracy to land uh, Gale's poisons on the clan boss. But the main thing is that at this low level, he's landing his poisons anyways. So let's see if we'll get 4 million uh, with this key. If we do so, then we knew. Maybe I'll just speed it up to the end of this run. Looks like this was actually it. Because if you see here on the screen, Changing that chest plate, that difference in speed, the speed tuning is extremely important for clan boss. We already passed the 3 million mark and we have 3 men standing. And instead, I heist, of course, level uh, 3 champs. Instead of all of them dying at 3, like 2 million on the fast run. So changing that chest plate, that's how you test, that's how you tune, gave me like nothing else changed gave me 1 million damage more and maybe more now because like now I'm at 3.8 and I still have miscreated monster and kale standing not for long yeah so but I'm past that 4 million mark so I'm back to uh, 3 keying hard just by giving uh, kale a bit of speed so yeah that was our clue he's keeping his chest plate for now okay now to the exciting stuff and we have a few of them happening here. So we have one void, we have 22 ancients. I'm not waiting for voids to exit, still four or five weeks ahead of us. 
and we have a progressive chance so for the legos it doesn't matter because we were not using the legos anyway well at least till the challenge ends um so i'm seeing some people pulled for what what's the name of that other guy prondor prondar and they got him for the strengthen and continuous heal he got like uh what 80 percent provoke or whatever so he's good support for the team but i think that this guy like or gal frenzy frenzy is really good if we look at her kit defense based show so tanky defense and dungeons okay she puts hp burns three times at random will greatly complement varken the fat and rathalos boosting his damage with the hp burns 100 percent instead of less than 100 percent provoke on a four turn cooldown one turn yeah but so she might help me with hydra she might help me with a wave content and then here increases her defense just by activating burns a1 activates the burns great abilities there so yeah that's what i'm going for single void let's see what we'll get and then i'll tell you what we'll do with the ancients okay come on i need some void dave luck for this one we haven't been lucky with the voids so far so yeah let's get a good epic let's get cold heart let's get blood hole can I fuse Broadmo at least now? Let me see if this is one of Broadmo's. Yeah. So I don't need to collect this guy from the 3v3 arena. There's more important things to do. So I just need this orc. I can get it from 3v3 and fuse these. Is it worth it? So I was chatting with Deadwood Jedi the other day. And he said he's going for Broadmo. I'm not sure to be honest. Three months might be too short for this. We'll see. Okay, so Bloodhorn as is. Come on. Does he have anything in his kit that benefits us? And we'll go back to the ancients. I didn't forget about that. Faction crypts, whatever. So that doesn't have a cooldown small version of continuous heal, yeah. Two random allies for two turns. Well I have miscreated monster, I won't level him just for that and decrease accuracy is not that useful early game, so thank you Bloodhorn. Okay, now to the ancients. This has been very difficult for me because the thing is that I want to keep these one week from now. I'm recording this Saturday morning, so probably next Friday is Ancients 2X. I'm hoping at least. Plarium don't stick to the schedule right now. And I can get like three, four good epics if I'm lucky on Friday, come Friday. But here today... Like we have the progressive chance for like, let me do it again. Harima the Lego doesn't matter. I would like Harima on this account in case I'm giving it away. But yeah, let's talk epics. So we have two great epics that we can choose from. This guy is, yeah, whatever. But we have Vogoth. Vogoth is a huge carry. He's much better than people think. Other than his crazy passive, whenever he's hit, he can put leech and just heals everyone. Oh, it's this one. So it's this one. This is the healing passive. This is the reach passive. He puts provoke. He's tanky by default. Attacks three times. Thinking fire knight. So yeah. The Vogus can be great. While Turagi on the other hand. He's also one of like the best epics in the game. So he can place poisons. Just by his passive when he's hit. He has shield and a light protect. Running him with miscreated monster. Will be huge for clan boss. He got that good chance for provoke and then he got decrease attack on his A1 which will make Vitran the, the rare uh, redundant for me if I get him. So I'm really torn between Turagi and uh, Vogoth.
who can carry me f carry me further, especially till they are maxed. Let's check something here. So no, not here. Let's go to the index because I want to check. So only 19k HP, which is not amazing for an HP based champ. I think that miscreated monster is like 23k. Why am I checking base stats at this point before deciding whom I want to pull for? It's because, okay, so 22k. Defense is okay ish. But yeah, so let's go for Turagi. I think Turagi might be useful all over. Might be mistaken there. So yeah, let's keep it like this. What I'll do, I wanted to wait for the 2x and I'm still doing this. I'm only opening, we have 22. I'm only opening two shards today and I'm keeping 20 for the 2x because I don't have a huge problem with good champs. I have like a problem with getting energy for food. So renouncer. No. Removes one random buff. Oh no, from this champion. No, no. So chicken for my third six star. Runic order. Okay, so a lot of the guys on the streams and videos were talking about Tronic Warder because of that A3. He will be really useful if this is tuned for uh, Fire Knight because when he hits, if he puts Reflect Damage on the team, no matter that it's a big or small version, just before the Fire Knight hits you uh, with that big hit, you have a team of five that five hits back at him, the shield is down. I don't need specifically need him because I have multi hitters and I have Fark in the fat. So yeah, no, he won't be too useful for me. So that's our short pools. Are we done yet? No, we're not done yet because when we got to level um, 42, we got our few soul stones, probably um, might be all what we get for the life of this challenge. So I have my, yeah, you can see it here. I have my wish list set. Yeah, no, let's focus on these. So we'll open the small ones first and then we'll end up with the big one. Let's see. Thank you very much. Okay, Rathalos. Okay, that's a great soul if you ever got a chance to get Salforian. But yeah, not useful for our challenge now. Basically, I want the rares I have because Phantom Touch would be good for that damage boost. Or a epic one. Okay, this is good. I was thinking about keeping Persecutor for her multi hits, for her heal reduction, for her decreased speed AV. So she's not, she won't get maxed like in the first five champs. But if I max her as a specialist, maybe like a month or so later. This can be good on her, having a soul stone, three stars, so yeah. At least we got someone we have. Now let's see this. Flesh Terror, no thank you. If I have him, yes, I would have used him with soul stone and stuff, but yeah. And then Painsmith. Did we pull a Painsmith so we can put the soul stone on him? I'm not selling him anyway. I'm not sorry, feeding him anyway, so let's see. Who can we sell here and what it will get us? If I sell these, no, I'm not getting enough for anything, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, the big one. Let's get us all for Fark in the Fat or Miscreated Monster. Yes. Our Bearded Fell Hammer. Okay, so our Soul Stones didn't give us anything except for a Soul Stone for Persecutor. Now to the main feature of the day, we are getting miscreated monster to 6 star now to start working on progressing a little bit and I have a dilemma that, oh no, no, let me see what gear I want from these guys because I've been putting some okay pieces on them. No, this can go, this, uh, yeah, can go. 
I might need this with accuracy, so for a little bit further. That stuff is not important. This is 5 star speed with accuracy, that's remaining. That's HP, that's remaining. Okay, I'm glad I remembered to check that. And I'm burning so much server doing that ridiculous stuff. So that got speed and defense percent, 5 star, yep. That was for one of the challenges, by the way. Oh, this guy definitely got good stuff on him. Okay. And what did we burn? Like 300k silver just to do this? Okay, this one is okay, so we clear these two. Do you have anything in these two? No, we're good. Glad I remembered. Come on, no, we got what we want, and no. And our miscreated monster is officially six star. Let's put some bruise in him because he can really use them to boost his stats. A lot of silver is being burned at the moment and then we can farm um, some more pots for him. Okay, he's good enough as is with five star. Let's give him I've been farming spider a little bit, so that's 5 star with, okay, keep it for now, HP with accuracy, yep, I don't think we'll have a better one, so let's give him this one and then just upgrade it to 12, I've been farming spider quite a bit because what I am wanted now, and I'll show you something, I wanted a banner for Kale, now I can have one for Miscreated Monster as well, to, for one of the challenges so I can get an additional Void Shard to open. Look at this. Like, I got banners for almost all factions, except for the two that I can actually use. I was even debating on maxing Rathalos instead of Miscreating Monster, monster with those Chicken, because I do have banners for... Um, like banner lords, but the thing is that getting the uh, ascension pots for Rasalos is going to be brutal. So yeah, no, I decided against it. Miscreated monster, he got his masteries. Yeah, now let's give him more master. It's consistent and it will give us a lot of good stuff. We're back and of course a six star miscreated monster helped me breathe through a brutal campaign. He might even help me breathe through nightmare campaign, but that's a story for another day. What we're doing now, we're getting our sacred from Brutal so we can open it together on the video. And after we open it, I'll tell you the plan going forward because I have a plan in mind. Part of that plan would be events that are going to be announced for the challenge. I'm not sure by the time I release this video, probably on Monday, you would have heard more from Deadwood Jedi or HH on this, but I'll leave this to them. But that might change my priorities a little bit. So based on the new priorities and the challenges and everything, I'll tell you what I'm planning to do in the coming two to four weeks on this account. And of course, uh, the sacred that we're going to open when we beat Brutal Campaign might change our uh, plan a little bit. But yeah, I think I have a solid plan. Like, I've been a little bit disappointed so far because I'm not getting enough energy or gems. I think I'm a little bit behind compared to the level and how many six stars I have on the account compared to other creators, but I think I have good champs. So having good champs is not the problem at all. Um, I have my roster, I have at least five man roster with a couple of specialists that I can depend on, but I'm not getting enough energy or gems to max them fast enough. So now we're at the list, uh, last stage. I might have gotten through it on auto anyway, but I just want to make sure that we'll get it the first time so we can open this sacred. Miscreated monster is a huge carry. So yeah, the other guys were doing a sprint with their Mordecais and Deacons and all of that stuff. But with miscreated monster, I'm in it for the long term. So... Maybe I shouldn't have used Kale's AOE here, or maybe I should because, yeah. On Brutal, 
Okay, we didn't proc his passive, which is good, and we almost got the minions down. Okay, and then a lie protect. Even if he procs his passive now, he won't get us, and we're through it. That's how strong this created monster is, and he will carry us through all of this. So brutal campaign done. We'll give nightmare a try later. But let's open that sacred. So, Harima for later on, when one of you got the account. Uh, it's very difficult between Vogoth and Turagi. So, Turagi will carry me in a lot of places. Okay, I changed my mind. Let's go for Vogoth. And we are getting an epic anyway. So, either Vogoth, which is whom I want right now. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. Let's see. Maybe we'll get someone better, worse, whatever. Let's see. Okay. I need some luck here. Well, I need some luck here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're good. Which epic we're getting today? Indalia? I'm not even familiar with her kit. Will be she useful to us? So a lie accuracy in all battles by 40. By 40. Out of the gate, this is a great aura that I don't have. So passive counter attacks when attacks by enemies under decrease attack. So she can be part of my clan boss team because I have veteran applying decrease attack un unless she puts it out herself. So let's see. Okay, she puts it out herself. On a three turn cooldown, she got a 100% chance of putting decrease attack for, uh, is it two turns? Two turns, yes. And she's HP based. So we'll check her HP from the index. So she can fit into my clan boss team. And she got 25%. So that's like 50% of placing a provoke on her A1. So not a bad epic. She's definitely usable. I won't rush to maxing her like immediately. But yeah, she's a high elf, of course. But she's definitely useful for this account. So and her HP is actually good, so that's 20k, 20,000, almost 500 HP with great defense, so almost 1,200 defense, that's really high, and then speed is 100, she got 30 resistance and 15 accuracy, she's a good epic, so she's definitely usable on the account now. Okay, now let me tell you what the plan is, because I think I'll be pivoting a little bit for that. Oh, she's even used... What is she used for? Mikagi probably? We'll never get that far, but yeah. She's part of Miguel, Mikagi fusion, but she's probably better than this like Datsu. Okay, now back to the plan, if I can ever find the right button. Okay, so what we've done right now, we have two six stars, which will hopefully give us a good boost into um, like several areas of the game. My five-man team that I'm planning to using, as long as we didn't get anyone else, is Kale, Miscreated Monster, Rathalos, Farak in the Fat, and Apothecary. What I've been debating on doing with myself is that should I just keep farming food, the boring stuff, not beat higher levels of dungeons or whatever, um, just to get my third champ, which which will probably be Rathalos to six star, that leap from five star to six star in masteries and damage and in stats is really worth it. Or the other option that I might be leaning towards right now is that what if Rathalos is already at fifty because he's a Lego. He's the only Lego probably will allow to use unless we have a fusion or something. What if I bring Fark in the Fat and Apothecary to fifty? within the coming week, which is doable because the energy and chickens needed to bring champs to five star is way less than bringing champs to six star. So Rathalos is already at five star, so he saved me a good bit of the way into getting him to five star. He's a Lego, he's, that, he's like that out of the gate. So why don't I in the next week get Farak in the Fat and Apothecary to 50, which will give me a huge boost everywhere, especially with miscreated monster, at 60 now so i'll do that i'll start progressing everywhere next friday so in probably five days after you see this video we have an ancient 2x so we'll open those ancients and we might get a few specialists to help us there and then based on that i can decide 
um, if I'm six starting Ras Halos or I'm pivoting towards something else. So that can be the plan for now. Let's say that I don't get anyone impressive uh, from those 20 ancients because it's possible. At least I'll have a lot of chickens to just like boost getting people to six stars. So the plan for the coming few days would be probably Farrakhan the Fat and Apothecary to five star, start pushing everywhere, getting higher levels everywhere. And then on Friday when we get, when we get those chickens or an amazing uh, epic to use, we are going to probably six star Rathalos and then followed by these two. Um, again, long term, and I'm talking now, today, maybe plans will change. So he's HP based, he's not providing much, but just at least for faction wars. She looks good, so she might get built if I build everyone else and uh, I don't have anyone to build. Persecutor is, which is going to be sad, yeah, but yeah. So Persecutor, she got a double hitter here. She got um, decreased defense, the big version on her A2. And heat reduction, she's my only heat reduction champ now. With a three hitter. So if I'm talking fire knight, probably after maxing those five, she might be six. And then veteran is going to be six and seven are going to be her and veteran, depending on like if I don't get anyone else, because big version of decrease attack 50%. He's rare. I can easily book him there. And it's a two hitter. So also he will help in fire knight and other places. Even at 30, he's hitting hard. This is one of the forgotten very solid rares in the game void no weak affinity there so he can be in my clan boss team as my like consistent decrease attack talking about other places so increase rate is is it for all allies okay so that's increase rate on all allies if the target is killed or oh, probably he won't kill the clan boss but yeah so ignore the 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 a2 here is just another hit that we can even turn it off for clan boss but look at this one so has a 60 percent chance on a three turn cooldown of placing block buffs for one turn uh, damage increases according to this champion's max hp so a bit weird here but so you build them tanky with hp and defense and he can be your block buffs for hydra a very weak source one or even for dungeons or faction wars so he can be definitely useful. If I don't get anything better, which is sad, <laughs> it's going to be sad, yeah, but I have Andalia, I have Persecutor, I have... Where did he go now? Veteran here. Even Castigator is not bad. Ward Ronic Warder for the Fire Knight, if I need him, though probably I won't need him with those champs I have, but he's there. I'm not... I'm a hoarder. I'm not uh, sacrificing the rares there. Yeah, and especially now that I have a three-star uh, blessing for Persecutor that probably I can put some... Where did it go now? Phantom Touch? Where is Phantom Touch? Yeah, it's here. So I can put Phantom Touch on her because other than the chance of inflicting extra damage when she's at six-star with more monster and everything, so that would be good damage there. But then again, that would be another hit to the Fire Nile shield, so yeah. Things are lining up. We have a good plan. We might be a little bit behind, but I'm guessing, hoping that the other guys will start slowing down now that the initial sprint with their speed and HP burn champs is slowing down. So some of those guys are not slowing down. I've seen it. But yeah, I think we have a solid plan. So with some luck next Friday with the Ancients and some luck with gear and challenges and stuff, we might be back in the race. So let's see what will happen with the challenges and everything. Thank you for tuning in today. I'll see you next time. Bye.